What's up, YouTube? Slam here from Game Metrics Unleashed. Today, I will be bringing you loot from AT1 Grand Heist in Path of Exile. This video is a part of a new series, or sort of my first series, that's called Player vs. Moneymaker. In this series, as the title suggests, we're going to try different kinds of currency generating methods, look at the results, and bring them to you. So stay tuned for the results of this video. If you do like this sort of content, or you have any suggestions of what I'm going to grant next for you guys. Please leave a comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Love you guys. With that out of the way, please get comfy, grab a coffee, and let's roll the footage. All right, for the new players, I will quickly run over heist. Since I know a lot of players have come to join Path of Exile in the current inflation leak mechanic, Heist is just a league mechanic that just like many else made it to the core game, so we'll be seeing Heist as a main part of Path of Exile from now on. In your journey throughout the storyline of Path of Exile, you might have seen a contract drop, and together with the contract, these so-called rogue markers. The rogue markers are the main currency of Heist, and you will be using those to initiate contracts and to pay the rogues for accompanying you on the missions. Heist itself can be described as a mapping system on its own, which I find super great if you would like to deviate from the standard mapping. It's parallel, but still dependent on the regular mapping system. In the Rogue Harbor, you will meet the Rogues, who will accompany you on your contracts. The Rogues can be leveled up in various skills and equipped with items relative to their main set of skills. Regarding Rogues and items and Heist, there are a lot more to cover in depth, and I won't be going over it in this video. If you want a more deep dive heist itemization for your rogues, I will leave a link down in the description, which I used to gear up my rogues. Blueprints, grand heists in uh, normal speech are essentially just bigger heists with more loot. So no biggie there. To run 81 of these bad boys, I went with my Blade Vortex build for the full duration. And the odd number of 81, instead of just the simple 80, is the result of me not being able to count properly. I tried out different strategies, but essentially I settled with speed over tankiness. I did die a few times, since I ended up going with a, a little bit more squishier build. Alright, let's talk about some of the rewards you can expect to get. Because there are quite a few uh, notable drops. The first drop we can see here is that you can drop these boss contracts. The boss contracts themselves, this is the one for the heist bosses, the Vox Twins, which are part of the storyline or something like that. And killing the twins is easy, and I can guarantee you that the drops from the heist twins, the Vox Twins, the bosses, they will be just as disappointing as going to the fair and winning a picture of someone else's grandma. One thing, however, that is actually kind of good about the new heist is that they drop these New currency, tailoring orbs, and temperate orbs. They drop fairly fairly often. You will see them, uh, not everyone, but you will see them from time to time. And these sell super, super good. As we are, boys, we're, we're talking like 3.3 divines each, and they are going to stack up over the duration of the runs. Now, other things you can expect to see is quite a lot of uh, synthesized bases, actually. Uh, dropped fair, fairly often from the armor and jewelry world room. You will see a lot of generic map drops, tier 14, 15, 16, with blights included. You will see delirium maps dropped with uh, 1 to 2, uh, that means 20 to 40% uh, delirious on the maps. These should be pretty easy to sell. Also the standard maps, you will see oil drops, blight drops. We did hit some nice drops though that I did I, di I didn't even know you could get those in Heist, but uh, the winged scarabs can drop from the final room in the Heist. Also, a lot of replicas and the new items. We ended up getting a unique called the Fulcrum a few times, which was about four to five divines. Um, I would say around that. that. Depends on the roles, of course. And all I think we got uh, 10, 15 maybe winged scarabs um, about the... How heist bases the the sort of chase items, the new chase items for heist. We did not get one of the new heist bases, uh, or at least the one that's worth something. The biggest we got was around four divines, also, and then we got a 50c one. I don't know what the drop chance for the jewelry. If you by any chance know what the drop chance are, feel free to drop it down in the comments. 
Nonetheless, boys, we are done. After three days put into this challenge, we have completed 81 grand heists. It did take a little longer than I expected to run. However, it's not the worst. I did manage to get a woodcutting cape in old school runescape, so you can say my mind has already been broken. But it was nice. I loved myself the grind, but I also loved the reward. And speaking of reward, let's have a look. All right, guys, I'm here to show you the loot of the 81 Grand Heist. But first, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm sort of a new YouTuber, so all the editing, I do not have that under my belt. It's uh, kind of an M it's like M M amateur sort of like editing skills I have. But let me show you what we got. We These... Uh, from here on, the currency and up are all the stash tabs that we put loot into. I already gone ahead and sorted it all out. I've uh, picked out the synthesized implicits that was worth something, and the fractured, and the the jewels, the ring, which was a big disappointment. Uh, the base item sells for yeah for divine. So we did get a little bit of unlucky, and um, but but I also still think that. It's highly profitable, and I might see myself running heist in the future when I recover from, from this pain, you know. But in total, after everything is calculated, uh, I am not going to sell these. I will drop them. There's 1,831 uh, stack decks. I will drop them all in one session. I'll record it, and I'll throw out a video of it. I hope you'll watch it. See you in the next video. Um, anyway, all the loot comes out to be 207 Divines, 0.76 divines. However, if we did uh, take away, I've already done the math here. So if we do take away the 45 divines that are the initial investment, if I can fucking use a computer, there we go. We end with 162 divines profit and we'll divide that by the amount of hours I spend. So the profit per hour you can expect to see from Grand Heist is approximately 13.5. It can be it can be a lot higher if you are efficient. It can also be a lot lower if you are unlucky, since you are chasing these unique items or the new unique bases, you can say. Um, let's say we got one of the new bases, which is 300 divines right now. So we can say the 207 divine plus 300, 507. Basic math, <laughs> come on, man. Uh, divided by the 12 hours we put into, so already there we can see it, like a substantial increase in our profit. We'll see 42 divines an hour if we hit the jackpot. We did not, unfortunately, but I think it was a good run anyway. We hit a lot of good loot and we got a lot of cards to drop, which my wrist will hate me for. But I'm going to go ahead and record it, do it now, throw this video up before I punish myself with all these cards and I hope hope to see you in the next video also as a sort of a, a feeling the air sort of thing if you have the urge to learn programming I studied computer science on the side I think it's really interesting uh, uh, sort of new to it entering my second semester at this point um, if I should put up videos on how to do basic coding uh, the stuff I know, the stuff we learn on the education. I would love to do that. I have uh, tons of video ideas for, for you guys. It will only get better as time goes. So I get more used to being on the camera. Um, leave a comment down below if you would like to see something else or something completely different than just loot videos. That's the, the thing I love to do. I love to play the market, play trade league, play loot videos. Anyway, uh, Guys, thanks for watching the video. I will see you, hopefully, in the next one. Have a great evening.